welcome to the University Network TV, where we scan the globe to give students, their families, and educators the very best tips for student success. I'm your host today, Dr. Crystal Rose. On today's show, we're featuring our series, How We Show Up. And these are human bios, stories behind our bios. These are not the stories that are typically that you read um, when you're reading about someone's bio. These are the stories that make us human. Not always easy, not always straightforward, but they're stories from which we can take inspiration, learn from, and grow. And today, you'll get to meet Amelia Thompson, who provides strategy, fundraising, monitoring, and evaluation, program design, and leadership development support to social entrepreneurs, faith-based leaders, businesses, and nonprofit organizations. She completed her studies at Vassar College and graduate studies at St. John's University and Harvard University. Her consulting practice, 2-5 Consulting, offers strategic planning evaluation, support and fundraising consultation to businesses and nonprofits. Additionally, she directs a social impact organization, which is a part of the University Network's community, Renew Today that works to help individuals and organizations develop cultures of racial and gender equity. Welcome, Amelia. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. So I'm happy to share a bit about my background um, and really excited for the opportunity to do so. I'll start by saying I have two moms, um, but it's not what you think. My first mom immigrated to the US from Haiti um, and she actually gave me up for adoption when I was two months old. Um, and my um, adoptive mom, um, she was initially a foster parent um, so when I was placed into foster care, um, but at the age of eight, she ended up adopting me. Um, and so I, I credit the, what I've been able to, to do and the accomplishments, which I'm really grateful for. Um, I credit uh, that work to my two moms um, who both made uh, tremendous sacrifices on my behalf um, and, and chose to do things that may not have been comfortable for them, um, but they did so in the, in the interest um, of, of wanting to see uh, me and, and others in their lives um, uh, prosper. I started out, as I mentioned, in foster care, um, and I uh, grew up in Bedford Cyrus in Brooklyn, New York, um, and attended public schools here, um, where, which is where I'm, I'm still based. Um, and uh, one of the things that um, I remember in my um, elementary and when I was transitioning into middle school, um, I had a hard time in um, elementary school toward the end of my, my years there because um, I had been invited to take a specialized exam that would have granted me admission to um, a, uh, a private school here in New York City. Prior to that time, I wasn't even aware of the world of private schools, um, but it was a, a special day. I remember it being um, Sort of, sort of special for me because it was the first time um, and one of the rare times that my mom took the train. She was, she was an elderly person. Um, she adopted me um, as she was approaching her 70s. Um, and so she would generally travel around Brooklyn um, via the bus. But on that occasion, we, uh, we, we took a, the train into Manhattan um, and, and spent some time at this private school. Um, and so my exposure, you know, the brief visit, uh, sort of opened my eyes to what was possible, um, but I didn't. I ended up not passing that um, that exam, um, and I, I returned to my um, elementary school in um, in Beth Beth in Brooklyn, um, and I felt like I wasn't prepared for that other world. I felt like I wasn't deserving of it. I felt like I wasn't worthy um, of that other world, um, and I didn't have anyone to sort of like counsel me through uh, what it means to to not to not get a score that that would have granted admission to what I what I deem to be a special experience. Um, and so um, I ended up going to my zone um, uh, middle school. Actually, I don't know if it was a zone, but I ended up going to middle school in my community, um, which is a general public school, um, and then going on to, to high school, um, also um, in my community, went to Boys and Girls High School. But I remember during that time, always feeling as if um, I missed out or I, I didn't end up where I could have been um, had I gotten a different score. And so I, I felt um, inadequate. Um, I often sort of um, held that, held on to that. And I remember um, once I ended up going to college and, and being in other spaces, this idea of feeling like um, an imposter. Um, and fortunately, 
um, through other experiences, I, I became aware of what that even means to sort of hold on to this idea of an imposter syndrome. Um, and I was like, able to discover um, how incorrect it was, um, but how often systems are designed that encourage us uh, to feel that way. Um, and I would say one of the turning points for me, um, after I came in high school, um, meeting um, a high school counselor um, who encouraged me to, um, once I got into to Vassar College, encouraged me to go away to school. I wanted to stay in New York City. Um, I, I wanted to, to be local and to go to a, a college here um, in New York City, and I was encouraged um, not to do that. Um, and so that was one of the turning points for me. Um, and it wasn't about like it being Vassar College. It wasn't about the college itself that made, that made the difference. Um, it was just that I had an adult who was willing to speak life into me and, and encourage me to still believe um, in myself and in what was possible, um, independent of what, what may have happened in the past. Um, and so I was fortunate to end up taking that advice to leave New York City um, and to go on um, to, to study in Poughkeepsie, New York, um, and to do a number of things after that. Um, but I, I say that story to say that um, wherever you are viewing this um, and whatever you may have experienced or whatever you may experience in the future, um, exams don't define us. Um, the schools that we go to don't define us. Um, we have a, we have purpose. We have meaning, um, independent of our performance, um, whether in school or on exams, um, or even our association with with different school names, whether they're known or not known. Um, and so, I, I hope that encourages you to pursue your dreams um, and and to allow the things that don't go as planned or as you may have desired um, to be fuel to encourage you to keep moving forward, um, to keep learning from those times that don't go as expected, um, and to also encourage others um, along their journeys as well, because we all experience discouragement along the way. Um, so I hope that encourages you. And I'm really grateful uh, to have had this opportunity to share with you. Thank you so much for joining me.